Hey everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Deathmark. In the last video, we uh, made it out of the elementary school after m having a run-in with uh, Hanahiko, and we also picked up a extra member to our team. So let's continue the story. When I got out of the car. Someone's there to greet me. Welcome back, mister. You too, Miss Moe. I'm glad you're unharmed. Do you find any clues about the spirit? What? So, there are others. This is... This is everyone. Huh? What a, a reliable group. You've got... The sarcasm is practically dripping off his words. So, are you all planning on continuing the search for the key to what it, or whatever it is? We don't have anything else to go on. There's no, no other choice. I don't understand you. If that's the... If the source of the mark is the, the spirit... Ugh, it's too early in the morning for this. Not quite awake yet. It would be best to destroy the source, don't you think? What do you mean? The spirit exists, so all you have to do is kill it. Are you serious? Of course! Of course he's serious. He doesn't exactly look like the joking type. Even if we manage to kill it, will that really make the mark disappear? Hmm, good question. When I consider everything Mary's told me, it doesn't seem like it would work that way. Even assuming it did, we have a more fundamental problem. And how do you plan to kill it? I'll figure something out. If something exists, there's logically a way to destroy it as well. He claims he can kill the spirit, yet he doesn't even know how he'll do it. Where does all that confidence come from? Don't forget, I've faced him once already. Yeah, you did, but you also got stuck in a cellar. So... Not sure if that's actually facing him or just surviving. If, uh. Excuse me. If we're seriously thinking of killing him. Ashita grasps his wrist. The little. The little shit shot some of. some kind of uh, thorns at me from a distance. They hit hard enough to. Stick in concrete. There's no way to get in close to him. We have to make that our priority. Mashita pulls something out of the heel of his shoe and tosses it at me. It's a thorn curved like a fang. The only reason I'm still breathing is because I was lucky. It won't it won't happen next time. We need a plan. I agree. Sorry. I'm trying not to yawn, but very hard to do. As we head to the entrance, I tell Mashita about Kujo Mansion. Kujo. Kujo. Eh. He takes it all in silent, silently. Even bring up the talking doll, or Saya, Kujo's death, doesn't trigger a reaction. Is he so unnervingly calm because he's already dealt with the supernatural? We reach the main hall, which is warmly lit. This is a strange mansion, but for some reason, I feel like I've come home. 
acclimate, acclimate, say, yeah. I know how to say the word, I just, when actually looking at it, uh, acclimate, uh, I can't say it right now, it's kind of terrifying. There we go. Welcome back, Lord Yashiki. The man is a mark bearer too, I see. Would you make the introductions? Sure. I do apologize for any uh, mispronunciations I might be having at the moment. Like I said, I'm not fully awake right now. I update Mary on our investigation in the strange way we met Mashita. The mirror, the underground room full of corpses, the sudden appearance of roses. I really hate to admit it, but it's clear something supernatural is at work here. And the spirit that caused all of it? Anahiko. There's no doubt that Hanahiko is the one who put the mark on Mashita's arm, too. But... What kind of chance do we have against a monster that can do that? Mashita says we should kill it. Is that even possible? Hey, Ashiki? My train of thought is interrupted. But uh, Shida's holding a leather-bound notebook out toward me. Read this. I picked it up in that underground room. It was caught up in a bunch of those rose vines when I found it. Speaking of items, I came across another one when I had to go back when I loaded up the game again because it loaded me at the beginning of the uh, elementary school. I found a mirror stuck in a uh, one of the corpses. They're in that cellar. It was caught up in the in a bunch of those rose vines when I found it. It was pretty hard to get loose. Did you read it? I skimmed th through it a bit. It's got some interesting stuff. Interesting and downright terrifying. That's what he says, but he's not smiling at all. His eyes simmer with a quiet anger. Dark red marks stain the cover. I have a bad feeling, but I flip through it. Rose petals fall as they become unstuck from the pages. The notes within are very detailed. The author was intelligent and well written. Reading through it, it draws it dawns on me that this was written by H. Elementary's principal. The Esther meticulous letters are on each page tell a ghostly story. Records of a young adopted boy's tutoring sessions. The first note is from five years ago. It seems the boy adopted by the principal was small and exceedingly cute. He enjoyed wearing skirts and makeup too. There was no denying that they truly suited a dainty red cheek boy like him, but the principal had a hard time accepting such fancies. Bad habits must be corrected young to, pr to promote sound mental health, he thought. So he called it tutoring as a cover for his warped desires. They took place in the underground room. Too many prying eyes anywhere else. There was no safer place than the school at night once all the teachers had left. The principal stayed behind under the pretense of keeping watch than tutoring. He was a highly respected teacher. He'd even made 
appearances on TV. There was no reason to be suspicious. The only one who noticed anything strange was the boy's homeroom teacher. But she feared the principal's power and firmly kept her mouth shut. As the notes continue, they are more and more deranged. They paint a horrible picture. It is of a totally distorted parent and child. My child gets weaker after every session. His de delicate frame has grown thinner, and his red cheeks are now darkened. His appearance is described in detail. There is no malice or hatred. There's just fanatical sincerity. His pride has an educator and a terrifying smothering love. It continues like that to the very last page. There's no mention of what became of the principal and the boy, but going by the current state of H Elementary, I can hazard a guess. You don't look so well, mister. What was in that notebook? Tsukasa peers up at me, and he and the boy in the notebook are about the same age. This isn't stuff you share with a kid. I better just sum up the main points for him. That's terrible. We children are always the victim of the ego of adults. Stupid grown-ups are irredeemable. Why he'd say that makes sense. The revolting evil of the adults and the poor boy who became a victim. But is that really the end? If Hanahiko and the boy in the notebook are connected, then the boy turned into a monster. Is that even possible? Untimely deaths produce hatred. Death does not bring it to an end. Such festering sentiments can give birth to the supernatural. Monsters, ghosts, vengeful spirits, they have many names. I believe that you have all heard one or two such stories. Hanahiko is similar. Mary's words are hard to swallow. But after all, those weird events, it only makes sense to accept them. If I turn my back to the truth, all that will await me is death. Then Hanahiko really is a monster. We must form a plan based on that hypothesis. Mary is silent a moment. Then her jade glass eyes shift to Mashita. Incidentally, according to Lord Yashiki's report, there are those among you who are considering killing the spirit. I shall warn you just in case, but that will be very difficult to do. Why is that? I could see Mashita narrow his eyes, but I made sure to speak up first. They are from the world of the dead. Just as the living cannot become more alive, the dead cannot be killed. The only thing you could possibly destroy is the cursed sentiment. So, what does that mean? It is as I told you before, death and life exist together. If that is the origin of the mark, then a way to erase it will be there. By driving away the spirit, the curse will also be eliminated. So defeating Hanahiko is how we'll be able to destroy the mark? Setting aside how he can't be killed, what exactly is the key, then? It is nothing more than a concept, so I am unsure, but I am certain of one thing. Fate ties the spirit to its place of birth. An object there may be able to fulfill the role of the key. It is a difficult concept to grasp, but that is just how spirits are. 
determining the nature of the key that will decide your fate. I had a feeling. Well, just have to keep digging around at H Elementary. We don't know what the cursed sentiments or the key to destroying the grudge are. Gaining the key and lifting the grudge is the only way to survive. You will be required to be cautious, to be callous, to make sure of the spirit's fear. The way to repel the spirit lies within its grudge. Remember this and be careful. Okay. UFO was added to the spirit file. Yay! Great. Now then, with that, uh... Partner... Let's go with... You. Ah, uh, that means I've already used up my uh, partner ability with the, uh... Other... The girl. Huh. Uh, let's take a look at my bag. There's the plastic sheet. Spreadsheet, range long. Uh... Okay... Huh. This will come in handy. The most. Lipstick, uh... Is it red? Oh, that could also be what the boy's wanting. It's the lipstick. So, I have a lipstick, red pin, flare. He seems to be scared of the flare. But, I'm trying to appease the uh, curse and not kill the spirit. Do something wrong here? I may have. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright. Ah, uh. uh, boy. I do save. Thank you. Don't know if that actually saved or not. Oh well. To keep the spirit's grudge, it should be within H Elementary. Fate has tied him to that school. However, even I do not know what form it will take. Well, guess I go back to the school then. Hey, wait. Machida appears as we're getting ready to leave. Bad news? That high school girl. This Moe is missing. At least she's nowhere in the mansion. Speaking of which, I didn't see her when we were talking to Mary in the hall, either. Maybe she ran away. That doesn't make sense. What would she accomplish by doing that? Running away from the mansion won't make her mark disappear. Could be her form of it, of escape. Many kill themselves if they know they're gonna die. Maybe something happened to her, like the spirit's curse. It's possible. But we saw Hanahiko in the mirror at the school, so she's the mark bearer with the strongest connection. It's possible that he. Zeroed in on her, just like Tsukasa said. But... There's nothing we can do. Let's get ready to go. Yeah, we can't really do anything right now. But if something happened to Moe, if we can get the, uh, marks to vanish, that should save her too. Let's head out. We're going back to H Elementary. 
And off we go. We've come back to H Elementary. I know full well that in the end, this place is just a school. Let's go. Ishida nods silently and steps forward. Ah, oh boy. Can make another save. Okay. Uh, from here, I need to go. I really need to go back to that mirror, but. We saw it earlier, but the hallway has completely transformed. Careful of the thorns, they aren't your run of the mill rose thorns. I know that. Stairs, yes. I'm in a hurry here. Halfway up the stairs, I trip on something. What's this? Oh, his bag is on the staircase. Inside the bag is some random junk along with her school jacket. That would mean that girl is here in the school. Yeah, it's safe. It's a safe guess. She's not at the the spot though. The cracked mirror is the only thing in sight. This discounting her bag, there's no trace of Moe anywhere. We need to continue our investigation. It's highly likely she's in the building. We'll be killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. In any case, we'll just have to keep looking around. Uh... Well, sorry, Mishita, but you're gonna have to watch me do this. Okay. Going up. We climb up the stairs to the second floor. Feel something soft and squishy in my heel. Right, the snakes. That's not gonna help me. The hallway is covered with poisonous snakes. Ugh, great. There are so many. I decided to go back to the landing. Let's go down. Maybe the other mirror in the other hallway or staircase will be of use. Wait, something's there. She just suddenly speaks up. Where? Something's sparkling by the window ledge. The window? All I see is rose vines. May as well check it out, though. Rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor cold and damp. Hello! Something's glinting over by the window. Looks like something buried in the rose vines. There's definitely something there. Didn't notice it before. No, maybe it wasn't there, yet when we passed through here earlier, there was a guard that got killed. Yeah, it's probably his. Maybe. Might have fallen on the floor and been lifted up by the vines. It's only now that it's high enough to be spotted. If it belonged to the guard, then it could come in handy while we're investigating. He was in charge of watching this building, after all. Let's check it out. Uh... Just... Ow. 
I was careful, but the oddly shaped thorns still cut my skin. Damn, this is painful. Keep feeling with the vines. Finally reached the metal object. School key ring. Cool. Yep, it's just as we thought. These definitely belong to the guard. Those are employee keys. We should be able to get into every Machida suddenly cuts off mid-sentence. What's wrong? Nothing, I just lost my train of thought all of a sudden. It slipped my mind is all. Let's keep investigating. UFO. Huh. Yay. Well, I'm gonna go... Farther forward. Let's keep going forward. One more time. Tool. Uh, can I use the key ring? Okay. Look at it. Paint is peeling from the fire door, revealing just rust underneath. I open this the side door. All I find is a wall. Uh, something stuck to the back of it. I found a worn out talisman. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel the warmth flow through me. Oh, cool. Worn-out talisman crumbles silently in my hands. Find a worn-out talisman to restore your soul power. The more soul power you have, the easier it, it will be to survive a deadly choice. Nice. Climb the stairs. Climb the stairs. Poisonous snakes cover the hallway. Okay, so I can't go to the next floor. Well, that sucks. Forward. Enter the room. There are nonsensical scribbles on the blackboard. There's a hole in the wall. I can see something stuck deep inside. Tool. Uh, can I use this? Well, then just stick my hand in there. See what happens. Okay, so that's a no. Letter opener. And do I get... Yes! Another talisman. Cool! That's an another uh, useful amount. Alright. Let's keep looking. Okay. Back out. Go forward. It seems to be locked. Well, if it's locked, I should use the key, the key ring. Ooh! Don't do that! Look, the aluminum chalk case, uh, feel anything in there? No. Oh! Just a talisman. Okay. That's nice. Look, the glass is terribly stained, making it impossible to see it inside. Feel uh 
My fingers touch something cold. There's some water left inside. It's just water. For some reason, Mashita looks disappointed. Uh, of course. There's enough water left inside that I could scoop it up if I had a container. Do I have a container? Uh, I do not. But, I know where to find the, uh, all that. Umbrella that withstood a typhoon. Uh, okay. Uh, information which I don't really need. Perfect! Guess that's how kids think. He acts like he was never a kid himself. What? No, it's nothing. Hello, what do we have here? Stick my hand inside and feel around. Something pokes my finger. I grab it and pull it out. Wire umbrella. It just looks like trash. That just looks like trash to me. But if you want it, then I'm not going to stop you from taking it. What's this doing here? I have, n I have an idea. This umbrella might, might have been part of the display for that independent research we found earlier. Still though, what's the point? I shrug and... stuff... I shrug and stuff it in my bag. I see the nicely folded dark plastic sheet among the garbage. Their blood denies him. Without conscious thought, I start speaking. Blood denies him. Does that mean to repel with blood? Hey, you've been mumbling to yourself. Give me a second. I pop open the wire umbrella. Then I spread the plastic sheet over it. Huh? Just like it said in that research paper, you can create something like an umbrella, but it's not fastened on. It's it would be impossible to carry it around like this. So we'll have to hold it together to use it. Thankfully there are two of us here. One person to open the umbrella first, and one person to spread the sheet. If we match a combo like that, then we can use the bloodstained sheet as an umbrella. Sorry to make you wait. Do whatever you want. But you... But you aren't really planning on using that as some kind of shield, are you? Not sure. But I get the feeling that everything is here for a reason. I ignore a look of suspicion... No. Suspicion from Mashita by studying the flashlight in my hand. Studying. Now, new info. Ooh, cool. Well, I guess I will, uh, save before anything bad happens again. Alright. Let's get out of here and continue down the hall. What's this? Open it and shine the light, the flashlight to see if there's anything inside. Now I actually wanted to take a look at it before I did that, but okay. Cool. That's useful. Moving on. the room. Turn around. Anything in the desk. Holy... Hard hat. Huh. Okay. Shall we? Moving 
forward yet again. Open the door with the keys. Just step into the classroom. And suddenly there's a strong grip on my shoulder. Glance at the hallway and out of the corner of my eye. Pretty sure Mishita was on my other side. No, even if they were on this side, they'd have no reason to grab me. Ah, ah, boy. Calm down, I'm just imagining things. My voice doesn't sound very convincing. Don't panic, it's an illusion. Calm down, hold it together. I see chill envelops my right side. Uh, call. I turn to Mishida and open my mouth to tell them. I do. Ah. I see a terrifying face in the darkness. Then an outline lying in wait for me. Combo, combo. Uh. Uh. You know, threateningly. No, that's not gonna work. Uh. I yell as loud as I can. Laugh echoes from within the darkness. I'm dead. Wrong. Of course. Well. A groaning cry. As cold as ice echoes out from the darkness. My heart struggles violently to keep beating. Then all I know is an unending silence. Yep. Uh, let's make that decision again, please. Okay. So, skip, 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 skip. Keep together. Choice three. Yeah, okay. And now, uh... Run away? I spin on my heel and move to dash, but my legs won't cooperate. Lose my balance and crash into the wall. Wrong choice! And I die. Yet again. Okay, so that's already two game overs for this video. And now I got to uh, get it right this time. Call your partner. Skip the jump scare. And pray. Squeeze my eyes shut and pray. Just then. Hey, what's wrong? With Machida's voice, the figure vanishes. I find myself standing in front of the door. Mark burns scarlet. Half an hour left until dawn, until death closes in. You okay? Yeah. Mashita picks something off my left shoulder. This is the hand I felt gripping my shoulder. It was actually a rose thorn. 
more importantly, Mashita, what's the matter? You're acting kind of. Acting kind of what? Something's wrong. He's not acting normal. Amnesia? My heart pangs with worry. Is Mashita spacing out because the Mark's curse has progressed? I don't understand. I'm still the same. At least as far as I know. Um, right. Mashita shuffles forward like a zombie. Something is seriously wrong. This is bad. Danger crept up on us so quickly. We're running out of time. This condition might get worse. I'll figure something out. Good thing I grabbed some of that extra stuff. Look. It's a coarse powder. It glitters in the glow of the flashlight. Not really inclined to stick in in my mouth. But it's probably salt. If I add a container um tool. Hard hat. Uh yeah, I could use this. No. No. I can't. Uh can I put it use Noe's bag? Of course not. No, Boulder. Uh, can I use this? Oh, come on, think. A container. All right. Ooh, what's this? The plants are dry and withered. Observing office, ladies. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I learned popular. Okay. Plan to destroy weeds. I poured different liquids on the weeds in the, my yard to see which was effective. Re resulting in sea miso soup and D salt water works. Conclusively, salt can destroy weeds. Dissolving salt in water first makes it easier for the plants to absorb. Okay. Plant container. Come on. Uh, feels like salt. If I had a container, I could take some with me. Tools. Do I have anything? Blah, blah, blah. Just that. You're being very diff difficult with me here. Hello, what do we have here? Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Bag. Contents. Wear a hard hat. Uh, I can't use it's done. Sheet, show, light flare. Put on slippers. Write with pen. Use lipstick. Stab with knife. I have nothing here I can actually use. Can't I just. Really? Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Fire door is rusted shut and won't move. Okay. I need to find a way to collect some stuff. Is there anything in here? Hmm. 
No. out back inside anything here no anything there uh, okay nothing else if I had a flower pot I could use that See anything useful here? There's the water. Plus, it's terribly stained, making it impossible to see inside. I know. Sheesh. Can't think of. Can't find anything else to use here. Staff room. Open the glass door and check inside, but there aren't anything catching my eye. I think it's a school journal, blah blah blah. Oh boy. Well, can't seem to find anything useful here, so. Let's go downstairs, see if this is a bad idea. Feel around for tools. No, that's not gonna help. Go back upstairs. Staff storage. Well, now I'm in a bit of a pickle. What to do? What to do? Can't find anything useful here. Ah, well, I think I'm gonna have to leave it here for now, and in the next video we will search around, find uh, our missing friend, and hopefully stop Hanahiko. So until then, see you guys.